Alright guys, it's been a long time since I filmed or posted a video for you. So I am finally getting enough time to do a couple for you today. First, I'm going to show you how to make a cover of an art journal like this. And then I'm actually going to show you how to do the signatures and sew them all in. Uh, previously, I've showed you how to make just your regular pamphlet stitch journal with like a couple extra fibers thrown in just for fun. Uh, this next one is going to be a little bit more involved. It's going to have embroidery where everything is sewn in. I used a different color for each signature, which is kind of fun. And as you can see, it's like a regular book. Everything is totally sewn in and you can see all the signatures. This one had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven signatures, all of different types of paper. That was just a painted page I did, regular scrapbook paper, uh, crackle paint, um, do it yourself. You just take Elmer's school glue and acrylic paint and I'll do a tutorial of, of that another time too. So, but yeah, we're going to make this today. We're going to start with our cover. You're just going to need cereal boxes, which I'm pretty sure every household has. doesn't have to be any particular size. You can make a bigger one with the full height of the page. And then you're just going to have taller pages. Or you can cut it down to whatever size you want. This one is about eh, maybe eight inch by five and three quarters. So you're going to open up your cereal box, you know, I gessoed the cover of mine and I used like an older kind of icky brush and that way I don't know if it'll zoom in you hear that sound kind of gives you like a just a texture on it for lack of a better term um, let it dry and then we're gonna paint the cover and then glue it all down so all right once this is dry, we're going to use a really easy technique that you can use, like junk mail, fake credit cards you get, or a coffee old loyalty card, some regular craft paint. I have a couple metallics in here and just a regular satin finish. Whatever kind you want and however different, however many different colors. So I'm not really doing any particular set pattern. I'm just going to, I love to splatter, put dots, put it so that it's fairly spread apart. And then my last color. Alright, and you're just going to take your gift card and kind of spread it around like that. And it's still leaving some of that white, which I don't know if I'm in love with it yet. Because you can still sort of see some of the lettering from the cereal packaging. I don't really know if I like that. So I'm just going to add more paint. Let you guys see it real quick. You can sort of see some of the G in there. I mean it's not terrible but I'm just gonna put some more paint down just to try to cover it up a little bit. So while I've been away I can do this talk to you and paint at the same time. I actually have entered several art shows and I've won a few awards and I've also illustrated a children's book. So, I have been busy. Oh, I like this much better. 
It's just sort of filling in the valleys of the texture left by the gesso. And you don't want to go over it too much because then it kind of just gets muddy and it you're going to lose that pattern. And then it's going to blend the colors and if they're not the right colors together, sometimes they don't come out very well. I didn't go out and buy any supplies. I love just kind of using what I have on hand or that I find in <laughs> the recycling bin. My husband's so good, he, um, before he throws something away now, he'll kind of hold it up and he'll go, Artable? Artable? Yes? No? Yeah? No? And just kind of ask me if I can use it. So, got all your paint down. I have to go grab a rag. I apologize. You have your all, all your paint down, and this is really wet, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and do a little of this. So I'm going to do that, and I'll come back when it's dry. Okay, we're a little bit drier. Not 100%, but not that huge of a deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you... Um, I didn't want a huge journal. So I'm actually going to fold it down here, and then here, and glue the little flaps in. Okay, my editor, Sloth Fury, is going to speed up this process for me during the gluing. All right, we have our cover pretty good. There's lots of pattern carried over to the second side. This is my cover, binding, or spine, I mean, which was just this part, the side of the box. So now we're going to set this aside and start talking about our signatures. Signatures are a series of pages just in little groups. These are the three sets of signatures I'm going to put in this journal that we're working on today. They're various sizes, as you can see. They're various thicknesses. This one is an, um, an acrylic monoprint or a jelly plate print I did. It's brown, very thin paper. Kind of a shimmery, metallic, pearly, iridescent. Okay, now I just named all the... Anyway, um, thicker cardstock, scrapbooking paper, that's all it is. These are all um, scrapbooking paper. With this, I actually folded the whole page in half. And then folded it in half this way. And I'm going to stitch that in as a pocket. Um, and obviously seal the sides so that I can put different ephemera and photographs and etc. in there. So, second set, third set. To assemble your signature, you're going to pick out a few different types of paper. I'm going to use this as the outside. Add another piece of paper to the center kind of an artisan paper, like almost like a rice paper, I don't know, it's kind of see-through. And then open it, put your other piece in, open it up. So they're kind of, you know, like this. I want mine so that the bottom lines up flush with the cover. Then I'm going to pin one on each fold, um, on each side of the fold. So, this is my little signature. For this journal, it's a wider spine, but I'm going to have my signatures in there. And while it looks thin in the beginning, oh my goodness, I'm going to have all sorts of embellishments and 3D elements in here when the journal is finished, so the cover will... Hello. Good Guga It will 
be wider and wide enough. So, for watching this video, I am going to take a little break and get ready for the second part of this, which is sewing your signatures into your cover. All right.